Hello and welcome to Diamond Art with Del. Hello everyone, this is Del and I'm just doing a little um, bagging today of a little surprise that come along in the post. Um, as you can see it's from our good friends from Amazon. Um, when I got this today from the post men that came to the door, I was a little puzzled because I couldn't, when I saw the Amazon thing, I couldn't actually recall ordering anything from there recently. So I did open the end of the bag. Now once I peeped inside, I realized what it was. You know, that's what that is, etc., etc. So I got a little excited. So then I decided I was going to do this video straight away because I've already opened the bag. And I'd want to, and also probably need to get onto these projects ASAP. So another reason why I'm doing the unbagging straight away. So, and just your standard bag that comes from Amazon. And then it was in um, this, this little envelope type thing. And it has the, like, some details there. And it just unfolds, as I said, like a little garbage bag envelope. It's a garbage bag envelope. And inside I have not one, but two DPs and other things that are falling out of the bag. Okay. <laughs> what else is in here that's going to just escape at me? Okay. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. Um, yikes. Drill instructions. I'll pop them over there. Actually got some stickers. What a nice little bonus awesome love stickers these are, it's just a sheet beautiful though perfect for one piece can't go wrong um love extra stickers i'm always using stickers for when i'm kidding up and a few baggies have fallen out as well i've got myself a whole four baggies that have just popped out of there as well hey i need baggies i love baggies we use baggies before. Okay, so as you can see, we have two kits to go through. They are also sealed in another layer of bags. So they were in that as well. So they're well sealed. And then the diamond paintings themselves are sealed. So I bought this as a two pack. It was a two pack deal. Two pack deal. So I'll just pop that one over there. Can I Yep, that absolutely worked. <laughs> Not failed. Um, so yes, and then each of them are in their own sleeve. Okay, try that again. So what it? What are we doing with the ends of these? Is it just one of the little? Yep. So it's another little peel back envelope. Undo the seal to the painting, which is getting stuck. That's okay, because I'm not planning to put these back in here anyway. It's clear coated. Oh, goodness, I nearly dropped it. As you can see, not a huge, ooh, a bit crinkled there. Being folded when it's been rolled. So I have a basic kit. More baggies. Let's pop them over there for now. So in drills, these are round drills. We'll have a good look at those in just a moment. And this is my canvas, which is looking not too bad at the back here. As it's only tiny. But ta-da! Which way will I put it? Isn't he cute? He is the cutest little snowman. So Merry Christmas. Ho 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 ho. 30 by 40. Let's see how. Um I say most of these little canvases are normally the canvas, not the, yeah. So the canvas and um, that line here, which would be where it should be cut, would be 30. Image, 25-ish. That way is 40. And image is about 35-ish. But that's okay. Righty-o. So that's some other formalities. Sitting here back at it, and my 
I must admit my eyesight's not the greatest. I can see these symbols nice and clear without a light pad or anything. So that's something I'm quite happy about. The print is good. What did you think? They are really well printed out. This is going to get where it gets really interesting in this section here of the tree. So we got our snowman. There's the shot, hopefully. <laughs> our snowman is hat, and you've got a little Christmas tree and a Christmas wreath, and some little birdies on there as well. So that there. And you can see it's the tiniest of tiniest thumbnails. Here's the image. I might try and add um, the link to this in the description so that you can have a look there for yourself. 18 colours with DMC number down that side and then again on the bottom of the canvas as well. Wow. There we go. All looking at letters and numbers, one to nine, and then let's start straying off again here. Some information and how to do's down the bottom of the canvas there. Some really nice symbols and print. Right there, there's the birdie. Let's check out the glue, and that's your size and code number at the top there. <clears throat> so this is why this was something I wanted to open up straight away, because it is not far. Oh, that's dicky, dude. It is not far away. And I wasn't really expecting to get two done in that time frame. Plus everything else I have to do in life. But I would like to have done at least one Christmas this season. So just there you can sort of see there's nothing really major wrong with this glue. It's nice pour on glue. I'm pretty sure. Will it stick? I'm not sure. Very neat edges if it's poor on, let's put it that way. No real problems there. Beautiful. Happy with that. And he's kind of cute. Um, you got some sort of mixture texture to there and there. A lot of symbol seven. Again, again, a lot of blue background. Again, a lot of white with the A. So it should work fairly fast through this. It should be good. So we've got a bit stuck, didn't it? I mean, this is a little bit on and off, but it's still quite blocky. Like it's being a smaller piece it's hard to get the finer details so you just do have very stark simple images in there and it's all little birdhouses in the trees with our snowman and that's straightening out pretty well already oh it's a drill I was wondering what I could feel 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 what I could feel underneath the painting. <laughs> That's from that mosaic piece I just done before, the um, the light, mandala light. That I obviously didn't tidy up well. So there we are. Awesome. Okay, so let's have a look at this guy's drills. Um, not bad packaging, a lot neater than some stuff. This is this is quite nice, it's nice and neat. That's what I like about this. It just comes out a nice big rolly scrolly rolly thing. Woohoo, look at these colours. 
So just the product code and number as just indicated here, not DMCs, etc. Oh, that one's got a lot of mix up in it. I don't think that'd be intentional. That one there has really got a lot of two colours. It's got a peach, but it's also got like a really pale tan mixed in there. So that's quite a few in that one. Then we have um, a nice soft lilac. This is a nice creamy colour, which looks the same as what's in this other bit, so somehow that must have got mixed up in travels. Nice green, Christmassy green. Orangey reds. Nice navy blue. Nice bright red. A few mixed, a couple odd dr drills in there as well. And that's beautiful sort of blue, isn't it? Pretty. Quite a lot of this snowman y light grey. Is that snowman grey? That's 10. I thought it was 10. A, yeah. So that's going to go in there. He's not quite white, he's more of this duck white. And sort of closer to a grassy green. Some tans, some slightly darker greys. Going through. Reminds me of the 80s, that colour. Tangerine. Um, <laughs> random. More different shades of blues, greys, dark greys, some black. And another nice cherry red colour. Sorry about the shinies. But yeah. So, that is 1 to 18 of all the colours that have in this kit. Our nice big strap. I like that. They look good too. Not too bad. It's always easier. Once I'll try to have a look at a bit of dimpling on the bottoms, you can see. Um, this one's just very mixed up. But we will see how we go once we get that one. Operational. <laughs> so I have to decide which one I'll kit up out of these two first, I suppose, and start making some tracks on them. Let's just put this away real quick. But I think that's nice. Let's put that away in there. Uh, one snowman. Snowman can just go over there for a moment. All right. So in the second container package, whatever you like to call it, envelope, we'll have a look at that one. So this essay was bought as a set, which I can't open the end of here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's stuck again. Right, let's get rid of that thing. Beautiful, all right. So we'll have a quick look at this one. Put the drills over there. And the back of the canvas looks pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, feels a bit bubbly there actually. And ta-da. Again, standard drill kit with some baggies comes with this and this is oh, covers a bit average I'll just fix up this cover because it's not sitting really good on it okay so we'll have a quick look you can see the glue I can get myself around that there is the glue and you can see that it's well printed. 
throughout. Look at his sweater. And his gorgeous lignols. Right through to his antlers. So we have Rudolph. Rudolph. The red nosed reindeer. Do 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 do. Blue is nice and clean and good. Just gonna try and straighten that cover down a bit because it was sitting a bit bubbly on top of it. So that may happen when it got rolled or something. I'm not 100% sure. My goodness, they are well printed up this end. I think that's some of the heaviest printing I've ever seen from any of these small pieces anyway. Just check that out at the top there. Look how heavily printed that is. That's really dark. Really heavily printed across the top there. So I'm very pleased to see that these are rounds with no training wheels on them. No little circles. I'm pleased to see that because with a lightish colour background it can be a real pain in the butt. The symbols are very well printed. Okay, so size wise is our 30 by 40 in item code. A very, very tiny little thumbnail to show you what it's all about. We have diamond painting code down the side there. 19 colours using, yes, pretty much all, yes, numbers and letters. And DMC codes down the sides. And on the bottom right corner we have another one. And along the bottom we have our production steps and so forth. So that is the canvas. We'll give it a measure. I think we all know where this is going to end, head to, but we'll do it anyway. 30 to the line and 25 for the image. Let's see what else we've got. 40 for there. If you straighten it all out, it'll be nearly 35 for the image. So there we are. That's where we stand with this little fella. He's kind of cute though. Don't know which one to start first. Let's have a look at its drills. Again, the same sort of packaging. Let's do some crinkling. Get away. Bit of rubbish. On the edge. Golly, that's stuck. Oh. Mm. That took a bit of effort. It was well stuck down. So you don't get an inventory sheet with these guys, so that's okay. So again with the round drills, nice big long line. Again, starting there with product code and number, and that's what you have on your bags. We'll run through some colours. If I can, a bit of rattly noisy. Alright, so we've got that nice peachy colour. Minty green. Right, terracotta pink. Some peaches. A bit of black. And very, very bright red. Very Christmassy bright red. Must be for a snoz. Some beautiful blues. More brighter reds. Super hot pink. Wow, wow. Wowzers. Light pepperminty greens. Is that the same number? Yep, two of the same, so a lot of that. That's the background, I'd say. 10 is X, yep. A lot of this background behind him, that light colours. Nice bit of soft blue. Very, very baby pink. That's a very baby pink. 
nice soft blue sort of a green tinge to it where this is more in your sky blues it's a brownie and there's more of a terracotta and a red like a darker one from the other previous shade that was down there it's a bit more pinker this is a bit more redder more bricky where am I there are different shades of loot wow that's a real real wine grape purple much more lavender and some white by the looks of it is our last little packet so 19 in total for this one I would suspect the drills look much the same which they do bit of dimples as I say hard to tell when they're in these packets how they'd go for chips and sizes and stuff but looking okay at this stage all right so there you go guys that's two little Christmas ones ho 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 so they come in a set and I'll get you some info on those in just two seconds so here we go with a few little informations about these pieces now both of them came together as a set I did not buy these individually so I bought these two as a set from Amazon they aren't individual they are a set from this company slash whatever seller um, it's a two pack um, full drill Christmas so that's another thing they are full drill um, kit from Kiss Buddy DIY Damon Ronestone that's K-I-S-S-B-U-T-Y DIY Damon Ronestone paintings kits um, they are sold on Amazon US they were basically $21.24 um, no charge for shipping I believe now I made the order on the 19th and it's now the 26th of November so that's a very quick time for it to come through the delivery estimated was for the 29th I think or something like that of November anyway so but yep they definitely come with inside of their delivery expectation time whatever you want to call it blah 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 um so yeah there we go so that's what they that's the cup that's where they're from amazon is a twin pack they are full drills so roughly it'll it costs me roughly ten dollars each if you might say say eleven dollars each if you like look at it that way um so which is not bad for a painting of this size uh they say um, they look quite good the uh, printout of the symbols is very clear um, the image you can see what the image is going to come across look like so I think we're going to even though they're very small being only 30 by 40s um, you're still going to get a really a, a good result by the, with them being finished and completed so I'm hoping to do that shortly all right well that'll be it thank you very much guys for watching this unbagging from amazon it did take me by surprise because i was not ready i sort of well i kind of forgot about it and then didn't expect it to come in quite as soon either so um i think it might start on the reindeer um, and try and get these out and out and onto the door for christmas this year it would be lovely that'd be lovely all right guys hope you have um a wonderful day enjoy whatever you're doing stay safe and this is Dale signing out be your life beautiful and I hope we all have a wonderful Christmas coming around the corner all right guys thanks very much please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one cheers